But what if Kelly wins here? What if, and this is a big one, he wins lowers? Because, you know, if we get a big south swell, you never know, he, he could take it down. All of a sudden, he gets in the mix. That'd be pretty interesting for the world title. Well, we're going to have a look at John Florence's run to the final now. And uh, it's been an interesting one. In the early rounds, he held on to the highest heat score total of the contest. And he still posted pretty solid numbers as he moved through this contest, Ross. But at different stages, he looked shaky. I, I think after Matt Wilkinson lost out, uh, John, even if he was trying to shake off the, the opportunity to seize the ratings league, was feeling the pressure. I, I think he was, um, but I think he did it his own style, which is being aggressive. Uh, he, he left the door open just a little bit uh, here and there. Not so much with priority blunders or, or kind of messing the heat, heat up with tactics, but with falling on a wave because he pushes it. This, you know, John John can do so much at Shofu that he naturally puts himself uh, as deep as possible in the barrel, and the result has been a couple of close heats. I mean, look at this kid. He's got arguably, you know, the best surf style and maneuver, everything about it. He is considered the best surfer in the world at this point. And then you couple that with that comfort that he has with his crew and his, you know, everybody around him and his equipment is on point. I mean, this is so great to see him going for a world title right now. He's going to be wearing that Jeep Leader jersey coming into the next event no matter what. You know, Gabriel's going to be barking down his neck. Wilco's going to be barking down his neck. And I hope that we're going to see some other guys get into the mix as well because this thing's still wide open. Not anybody's run away with this yet. We touch on it quite a bit when John uh, is surfing Ross. His victories on the CT, uh, Brazil twice and France. So all sand bottom locations. We know he is one of the, the, if not the best, uh, reef break surfers on the planet at the moment. But a final spot has eluded him here in the past. Uh, this is a huge opportunity and he's going to be ultra hungry, not just for the title race, but to actually just validate his position as one of the best barrel riders on the planet. But Kelly's going to be feeling that pressure as well. He's so yeah. hungry for an event win. I think the reason why John has uh, you know, some of those big results at the venues that he really appreciates have uh, eluded him is the <coughs> fact that you know, and, and he's admittedly trying to work on it, is uh, you know, just cleaning up the tactical game, the priority stuff, uh, making sure he really utilizes um, uh, his time in the water. You know, we all know that he's a freak of nature. He, he, a lot of the times in the past, especially in the past, 90% of his heats, he surfs his way out of it. But now on top of that, he's trying to, uh, you know, have clean heats like an Ace Bucking would. Uh, so if he can kind of continue to, to, to reach that quest, then he'll start winning all those those venues we expect him to win. Well, he's also turned the corner on kind of like a doggy dog heat too. I mean, you'll see him in a heat and a guy will paddle for a wave and he'll want the switch of priority. He'll throw his arms up and say, you know, was that a priority switch? And that to me is, is a, an innate thing inside of him that's turning around and he's not that so to speak, a uh, fun-loving Labrador anymore. Yeah. He's, he's turning into Cujo, and he wants the piece of meat. He's ready for the title. He's got these fangs out. I think that's a, a really good point. A couple of times we've seen him appeal to the tower when his rivals have paddled for waves, wanting that priority switch. It's not something we're typically used to seeing. And we're also seeing him celebrate good rides, mm. and, and he is one of the most understated surfers on the tour. I just think it's he's engaged. You know, in the past, he's been guilty of uh, spending a lot of a lot of his energy and time filming movies and, and, and having all that energy and appreciation for, for those projects. Now he's totally focused on winning a world title. So he, he's looking at all those little nuances and, and those gamesmanships and showing that energy, and, and it's obvious to us. I think uh, as far as their strike rate goes for, for making the impossible out here in this event, Kelly's probably got John covered. He's been coming out of some really deep barrels. John has certainly had his own uh, special experiences in 2016, but he's got to make sure that if he gets behind that foam ball, he fights his way over it because Kelly's been so good in that department throughout this contest. Like John almost did it. Almost trumped the champ, uh, Kelly Slater, with that one that he came out of and kind of pirouetted, fell off the back of his board where he rode over that foam ball. So, you know, yeah, I think he's got what it, it takes to do that. He, he knows that he's going to have to make it over those last little sections, and I love it. He's got the dog in him right now. He wants the <laughs> win, and I cannot wait to see this thing go down.